Schaefer is CEO of Volkswagen Passenger Cars. Good to see you, sir, at CES 2023. Now, look, th there was a sea change in the way Volkswagen approached EVs uh, over the, uh, the, the, and the offering in the last couple of years. And this is, if you like, the result of it. What does this tell us about what you're offering? Well, it was very important um, that we uh, embarked on this electrification journey so strongly. Uh, um, we had over the last couple of years the rollout of our new models that are coming on the MEB platform that we can scale and we are scaling globally. And this is now the, the sixth model uh, of the family that we are offering uh, after the ID3, 4, 5, the six in China and the ID bus. This is now the, the sixth model, but it's called ID7, Fastback Sedan. Um, yeah, we're proud to show it here on the CES today. We know in the U.S. that EVs have got about 5% now, so they're, they're at this tipping point um, for EV as being the dominant force in the future. Um, how do you see Volkswagen, how do you see yourself playing against the competition? Now, we you know, obviously have um, a large lineup and with our volume as a global player, um, we can really uh, dominate this game nicely going forward. You know, we have uh, a platform that is super competitive, that is now industrialized on, on three continents. And uh, we just invested in a facility in, uh, in Tennessee, in Chattanooga, where the ID4 is being manufactured now. And uh, this global rollout with the same platform and uh, in scale will bring us you know, the advantage in this game. And um, we're very confident with the lineup you know, of the models that are named earlier that we are very well positioned against the competition. The, the, the long game is clear. In the short term, I do wonder about things like slowdown and recession. We know the EU will be. It's a moot point whether the US will be. China's opening up. So I understand your necessity for this investment. And of course, this, in, this is decades long investment. But do you have last do you have concerns over the next few years? Well, obviously, this transitional period in which we are now is, is the most challenging. No? The one time, so on the one hand, you are investing heavily in new technology, also vertical integration, you know, battery manufacturing, uh, software, and all. Um, but at the same time, you still have to substantiate the, the ICE, the combustion engine business, which we are also a strong player in, obviously, in the world. So, so both technologies at the same time demand our full attention, and uh, that's the challenge that we have. So does it worry us? Yeah, I mean, sure, we, we always try to prioritize and now uh, invest in the future, but not you know, dropping off on what we do best. You know, I, I, many of the questions I ask people like you about difficulties, they sort of pale into, insig pale into insignificance, bearing in mind what you all faced during the pandemic when you know, everything ground to a halt effectively. But that said, you do have this uh, issue of inflation. We do have it. All of us have it. We have still supply chain problems. And I'm wondering, for your desk, what for you, as you sit at your desk in the morning, what do you think is the most significant problem for the moment? Well, obviously, for, for us now, this is not a short game. You know, we are in uh, the automotive industry is long term planning. You have to invest now for the next 10 years and going forward. So, so for us, I mean, apart from the day to day uh, situation that we were facing specifically in the last two years, which was uh, tremendously complicated no? with, you said, you know, war in the Ukraine, um, supply challenges in the chips department and all that. Um, but it's a long game, you know, you can't lose your nerve uh, in this. You've got to manage as, as best as we could. And I mean, we managed uh, the last year uh, quite well, despite all the challenges. And we invested heavily into the future, whether it's battery technology, whether it's uh, vehicles and lineup. And, uh, and, and this is, you know, what you've got to stay calm in. It's uh, no, no point to panic. Keep calm and carry on, sir. I'm very grateful that you joined us today, sir. Thank you for joining us from Las Vegas.